The last component of this star is perhaps the easiest one. I would say it's definitely the easiest one. We're doing the center unit assembly now. So we'll grab the center of the block and then these four squares that are called number six triangle accent center. So to use these, we are going to on the back mark a line diagonally on each square. And I'm going to grab my glue pen again. We're going to pay special attention to the line that we've drawn and that is going to be aligned in each corner according to the diagram on the pattern. So when it's done it's going to look like a octagon. So I'm going to use a glue pen and I'm going to lightly put some in the corners and then I'm going to stick each square right in the corner and that will be tacky enough that will keep it in place while I sew and then that corner is going to be the corners are going to be trimmed away in each case. Okay now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew directly on each line. Okay, now that I've sewn directly on the line, I'm going to position my quarter um, mark on any ruler, quarter inch mark, and line it right with my sewing line and trim the corners off. And that's waste. Okay, that is done. Now we're going to put the block together, and I like to just work top row, middle row, and then last row. Get out the first corner unit and align this with a side unit. So, I would say the success of this pattern comes down to the pinning and alignment more than even the sewing. So take your time in these steps and pin well so that you only have to sew once and it aligns right away. I'll show you how I handle these seams. I'm going to align the corners on one end and align the corners on the other end. And then I'm gonna focus on the matching points right here. I'm sticking a pin through that intersection, my point right here. And then I'm going to continue sticking the pin into the point beneath it. And I'll use my fingers and I'll use the pin. The edges are aligned and then I will position the pin for sewing and then right here is another tricky one because we don't have a reference that shows us where our quarter inch is. I feel pretty confident in my quarter inch that I just estimate where that might be. You could even take a pencil and mark a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to also estimate where that quarter of an inch is on that seam below. Again, align, kind of move your fingers around until that's nice and straight and then position the pin for sewing and then I like if there's any excess here you'll get some bias edges so I just want to make sure that the fabric below is nice and smooth and I'll put a pin right here and right here and now I'm going to sew the seam using a quarter of an inch seam allowance and okay this is one of several moments of truth we're going to open this seam these points are the trickiest where you want your points to align. You can generally get a good idea from the back side. Those look like they're pretty well aligned. I am going to press it with my iron. Okay. I really like how this turned out. You'll see this point is nice and aligned here and this point looks really nice and sharp. I'm really happy with how that seam turned out. Um, so now I'm going to complete that top row like that's shown in um, the pattern on page three, the overview. So I'm going to grab another corner unit and this, we want to make sure to shift that so that the um, square is down here in the corner and when you align it, it looks like that's the right way it should go. And then I'm going to do the exact same pinning strategy as I did over here to this seam. And then I will sew the seam. I'm just checking those points. These look also really good. 
And now we have the top row completed, so I'm going to set that aside. And now for the middle row, we need two side units in the center. So the side unit is going to be positioned horizontally here. Center unit, um, turn the right sides together. I'm going to position the corner. And then these points are like our last points where they're not really marked, but I'm going to guess quarter of an inch down, quarter of an inch for the underside seam, pressing or putting that pin right in the seam, making sure that aligns and then placing the pin. Okay, same thing over here, right on that seam, quarter of an inch down, and also this seam, quarter of an inch down, and using that pin to make sure going up and down fairly aligned here. Placing the pin. This is a little biasy, so we're going to ease that in. A good strategy would use some pins or even put this as you're sewing, positioning this on the underside so your feed dogs can kind of help you ease that fabric in. I think that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to place a couple of pins to kind of just distribute that fullness. And then I am gonna just sew slowly and use my stiletto and ease that fabric in as best I can. I should be able to get away without any puckers. Using spray starch for those bias edges might really help too to work. There's a little bit of a ruffle, but um, I don't think when it's pressed and quilted, it shouldn't cause much of a problem. Okay, now we're going to take the other side unit, position it accordingly. Flip this over and work our pinning strategy. Okay, this looks a little less full, so I don't think I'm going to have to do any special sewing. Just take it easy and ease in the fabric. That seam is now sewn and those points are pretty well matched up. So this is going to be our middle row. I'm going to set that aside. The last row is going to be a repeat of the first. Okay, there's the last point. Um, I should sew on camera more often. I'm on my best behavior here. <laughs> So we have all of our rows completed now. And since I have this one um, already here on my cutting mat, I am going to go ahead and add the middle row to it and start our first big seam across. Okay, just lining it up to make sure it all looks good. And then I'm gonna flip this. And actually, I think I will turn this over and sew it from the other side. That way I can see more of my intersections here. I handle this much like I do the, all the other pinning. I will start in the middle here though to make sure that I've got my main, my star point, um, this main intersection lined up, kind of setting the structure. And then I'll go back in later and pin all the particulars, but then I'll work on the corners. And now I'll work on star points. Okay, that should be all the pinning this end needs. And now I'm going to go work on the middle. This last section, starting at my star points here. Okay, I think that's going to work out really well. If you notice any fullness, just maybe you'll want to put a pin or two in those areas and then sew slowly and just make sure that any fullness that you get from the bias edges that we've cut just gets eased in. Okay, seriously. <laughs> I just want you to know that I was sewing for a good 20, 30 minutes without recording. I ran out of room on my memory card. So, I am actually done. I'm pretty sure you got the point sewing those last two seams together. The pinning methods are the same. You use a quarter of an inch. You have all the information. I, I trust that you are well prepared to make your own start.